ever been willing to throw away your entire closet just to be in style? For example, back to school shopping. That's probably the time when most people are eager to just throw away their entire closet just to be in style. I was one of those kids until one night when my family and I were all watching a commercial about textile waste. After that, my family talked more and more about textile waste, and I learned more and more about the issue. And it all got me thinking, where does it all go? Well, most of it goes to our landfills. This might not seem like a big deal to most of us, but it is. Clothes that are made from 100% silk or cotton, in other words, natural fibers, release methane. Methane is a greenhouse gas that comes from cow gas and other places. It's a huge contributor to global warming. So, when you throw away your clothes, you're contributing to global warming. Textile waste doesn't just pollute our seasons, it also pollutes our oceans. More than 15 million tons of textile waste is generated each year. And in 2016, over 16 million tons of textile waste was generated. That's the weight of 18 Golden Gate Bridges. Sadly, the average U.S. citizen throws away 70 pounds of clothes annually. And now, there's a huge demand for secondhand clothes in developing countries. But there are some citizens trying to stop textile waste. For example, an entrepreneur named Stacy Ellen re released the company Evernew to provide a solution for textile waste. She takes cotton waste and turns it into an entirely new fiber called Evernew. Evernew is smoother than silk but stronger than cotton and is an entirely new resource to designers and fashion brands. There's also a pilot facility located at a wastewater treatment plant in Redwood City, California. The company is using waste methane to feed bacteria that can produce fully biodegradable biopolyester fibers. When the bacteria consumes methane, they produce PHAs, a kind of plastic that can be spun into threads, a biological version of polyester that can be composted. But if it ends up in a landfill, it will biodegrade naturally. And if the methane is released, it's captured at the landfill and made into an entirely new garment. These inventions are amazing, but you don't have to be a scientist to help get these pollutants out of our oceans and landfills. Here are a few low impact steps that you can take immediately. Swap it out. Have a clothing swap with your friends. Maybe you'll finally get that shirt you liked all year. Someone else's old equals your new. Wipe it up. Cut up one of your old t-shirts and use them as dust or cleaning rags. Your house will look clean and you'll make your old t-shirt useful a while longer. Or you could give it away. Donate to places like Out the Door, The Salvation Army, or The Goodwill, places near you. As a school, EB could help with this by hosting a clothes drive. At the end of this clothes drive, they could take all the clothes and give it to places the good, like The Goodwill and places just like that. I know that if we try our best to reuse and recycle our clothes, not only will the world be clean and fresh, but it will be better than ever. Thank you.